I have waited so many years to say these words. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Resident Evil 3, specifically the Resident Evil 3 remake. I have no clue what the heck is going on. I'm assuming this is Jill and she's just waking up. So without wasting any more time, guys, let's dive into a brand new adventure. I am a huge fan of this series. So I remember playing RE3 when I was a kid and this is different. Okay, so... Am I in the midst of the uh, zombie apocalypse or what? Oh boy, it's raining outside. This is a first person perspective. Okay, so am I playing Resident Evil 3 or am I playing Resident Evil 7 here? Let me go on ahead and just shut the window here right quick. Wow, man, I can't believe it. All right, so I hope you guys join me for this adventure because we're going to be having just an amazing time going through this. So everything seems to be weird. Uh, is this in the middle of the apocalypse? I have no idea. All right, so... Ah, uh, damn, Raccoon City sure seems like a complete dumpster fire with all of these conspiracies running around. I mean, it really wouldn't be that much of a conspiracy if, if things weren't true, right? Uh-oh. Oh, oh I, don't like the, I, don't, I don't like the sound of this. Either way, guys, if you guys want to see more of this series, then be sure to give this video a big fat like. And uh, hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. Let's go ahead and turn this off. I have a gun next to me. Yo, I am so excited to see what's going to come from this. What was that? Oh, I'm bleeding. All right. Uh oh, oh what the hell? <laughs> oh shit! Am I? Am I? Oh no! Wait a minute! Am I turning into a? Am I turning into a zombie? Well, that's the end of the game, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is the end of Jill's adventure. Damn, dude. This has to be a hallucination. This has to be a hallucination. There's no way. She's already a zombie. Oh, she looks messed up, dude. And here I thought things couldn't get any worse for her. Oh, there we go. I'm pretty sure we all know what she's about to do. Don't do it, Jill. Don't do it. We need you for the game, goddammit. No. Oh, my God. I knew it. I knew it. It was a dream. Ooh, September 28th, Raccoon City, 1998. Oh, my God. What a beautiful experience. Do you guys hear that? I hear cops outside. Okay, so everything seems to be uh, calm, cool, and collected. There are reports of an outbreak in Raccoon City. I, I really want to find out what's going on out there. So let me see what I have to do here because we're starting things off very interestingly because this is what we might be getting for the Resident Evil 8 game because Resident Evil 8 also might be a first-person perspective. All right, let's go ahead and turn this on. Hopefully, we won't look like a zombie today. We're either going to clean our face or we're going to take a good look in the mirror. Yes, we are. Damn, she is beautiful. Welcome back, Jill. It's been a long time. See, what's what's crazy about this is I really wonder who had more of a difficult time in Raccoon City. Was it Leon or was it Jill, right? Was it Jill, Leon, or Claire? Because Jill went through some stuff with uh, Nemesis. Oh, there we go. The over-the-shoulder perspective, September 28th, 8 o'clock. Oh, who the hell is calling me at this time? Who could that be? Oh, I forgot we had like, we had phones back in this day. We didn't have cell phones. Hello? Porn. Yo, are, are you okay? Brad, is that you? Uh oh. Listen, you gotta get out of there. What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now. I mean, you gotta bounce, man. Oh, what the fuck? Yo, what the? Already? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Are you serious? Jesus, look at him. Dude, oh, oh my god! Dude, this has to be a joke. Already? Freeze! In the name of the law! Damn, damn, damn! Oh, this is bad. Oh, this, this this is bad. This is really bad. How are her bones not broken? Jesus Christ! Gee! My god! Dude, already? Oh, why would you be holding the door? Oh, no, yeah, I'm out of here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Did, did he break the door? I want to turn around and check. Yo, Jesus! Dude, oh, the game just started! Oh, you moron, he busted through a wall. What makes you think this bookshelf is gonna hold him back? I gotta get the hell out of here, dude. Is there a door around here or something like that? A window, yes. Crap, yo! What is going on in Raccoon City? Well, obviously. You got people clinging on for their lives out here, man. What would you guys do in a situation like this? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Oh, all right, I, oh, Jesus, man. Look at this dude. 
Yo! You better flee. Oh, her ribs gotta be broken, dude. Her show she has to have broken ribs. Get off me, you foul creature! Yee! Damn. That's a nice booty shot, by the way. I I wouldn't even know what to do in a situation like this, man. Like, what really can you do? Right? I mean, it's a Joel oh, Jesus, what the hell is going on? Man, what a start. What a start to this game. Alright, let me climb down that ladder real quick. Yo, yo, what the fucking hell, dude? Yo, he is relentless. Oh, you're finished. It, it's... How? How do you escape something like that? Look at him. He, he has like a garbage bag wrapped around his head. Oh, please don't. Oh, run, Jill, run! Run! Dude! Dude! Oh, this dude, he, he is just, Jesus Christ. What an experience. Wow, what an experience. Is he really barricaded behind that? Oh, I gotta get the hell out of here. Yeah, I'd be saying the same thing. Look, people, get out of town. Hell yeah. That's objective number one. Is that Brad? Oh, dude, what is going on? You okay? Uh, no. Came to find out. Jeez. Of course. Of course. Of course. I'm not sticking around. Just look around you. The longer we wait, the more screwed we are. Well, Zamasu wasn't wrong, right? This is this is the zero mortals plan contingency going on right here. This all happened so fast. Damn. I don't know. One fucked up thing always leads to another. This is insane. Oh, I love how they mention Arclay. Yes, the Arclay Mountain incident. What is going on? This is beautiful, though. Like, Jesus. You guys got to admit, though, this looks amazing. Look how many infected there are, though. Oh crap. You better run, Brad. You better run, dude. In where? Oh, jeez. Do I even have a gun? I don't even have a gun because Nemesis decided to, like, just... Shotgun me in the ribs. I, I gotta get the hell out of here. Nope. We are not dealing with these dudes. In bar jack we go. Seriously. Get your ass in here. I don't know about you guys, but this reminds me of Outbreak. Oh, there he is. He's gone. Oh, nice shot. This game is crazy. Dude. Yo, I would leave him. I would, I would flat leave him. No, we're not a team. What do you mean? Oh, Jesus. Okay, he, he wants to be a hero. Oh, this is, this is shitty. What a, what a bad situation to be in. Well, goodbye, Brad. I'm out of here. Oh, oh, Jesus. Is, is he alive or dead? Let me go on ahead and grab this. Thank you very much, kind citizen. All right, we finally have some. What the hell was that? Oh, crap, they got in. Aw, oh, jeez. All right, uh, sir, sir. Yeah, yay, yay. Zero mortals plan. Zamasu. Oh, oh, wait, there's more of them. Nope, I'm not dealing with that. Nope, nope, nope. I am not dealing with this kind of a situation. I, first of all, I have no Jesus. I have no ammo. I, I, I barely have any supplies. Are they still following me? Oh, they are. Holy crap. Guys, let me know your thoughts as to what you would do in a situation like this. Oh, God, the bus driver's even a zombie. Oh, this is horrible. What a, what a horrible situation to be in. Get to the parking garage roof. All right. Hey, I remember this guy. We had him in Resident Evil 3. I'm not a zombie. Relax. Yeah, he's going to lock himself in there. You idiot. Oh yeah? Do you have any food? Do you have any water? Do you have any weapons? Do you have any women? No, you don't. Yeah, he's he's gonna die a loner in there, dude. Sir, what's your name? I can't just leave you behind. It's Dario Rosso. Uh-huh. And yeah, right. You just wanna steal my safe house. Dude, nobody wants your sh oh, my god, nobody wants to steal your freaking warehouse, dude. Alright, so this is we are in a very interesting position because with everything happening in the city right now, like, you can only imagine, like, what would happen in real life, right? 
See, why can't they turn this into a freaking TV show or something, dude? Like a Netflix series. Oh, this is amazing. Keep crawling, keep crawling, keep crawling. We're almost there. Oh, Jesus! Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him in the face! Ah, oh, damn it, Jill. Oh, this is bad. Is, is this dude stuck in there? Yeah, he seems to be stuck in there. Yeah, it sucks to be you, doesn't it? Man, but, like, look at the detail. I am a person that loves detail. And based on the way everything looks, like, Capcom nailed it. Capcom just nailed it on this one. Oh, gee, you, whoa, I wasn't expecting that. Okay. So you want some of my period blood on your... Oh, Jesus. Come on, come... Oh, Jesus, come... I... Man, this is not... Not good, I'm missing. Back. You want some of my period blood on you? All right, yeah, I'm out of here. I don't have the bullets to waste on these stupid zombies, man. Keep crawling, Jill. Yo! Back, 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 back. Come on, Jill, come on. I want you guys to put yourselves in her position. Like, this is a crazy situation to be in. What an amazing start to a game. Like, hands down, what an amazing start to a game. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's get the hell out of here, man. Alright, we need to... We need to flee the scene quick. Alright, so that, that, that could be our escape. Our only escape. Thank God for the chopper. Thank you so much for being here to help you. Jesus Christ! Don't tell me it was who I think it is. Don't tell me it was the nemesis, bro. Because that would be way too soon. Oh my God. If that isn't horrifying, I don't know what is. Look at him. Uh-oh. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Start the car, start the car, start the car. Dude, start the car! Dude, start the car. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, it's over. It's over. Nah, yeah! Oh, oh, he's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. He's gonna break my freaking neck, dude! What am I gonna do? Am I gonna smash into it? Never mind. Jesus Christ! Dude! The car literally smashed into him. I'm surprised Jill is alive. Oh, of course. Look at him. Why does he have a garbage bag around his head, though? He looks intimidating. He reminds me of the remade version of Jason from the Friday the 13th remake. Oh my goodness. Look at, oh, he, look at him just walking through the fire. I'm dead. He's going to kill me. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. This is, this is the end of the game right here. What the hell was that? He just caught the rocket! This dude just caught the rocket! Oh, what the hell? Is that Carlos? Ooh! Wow, nice shot, by the way. Hey, easy, lady. I got you. Hey, don't, don't, don't touch my shoulder. Me too movement. That dude is not dead. He's literally on his knees. Damn, man, the nemesis is just ruthless. I think we're in the clear. Yeah, you think? Hope so. We've can, been bringing survivors here. Can, can I borrow your gun? Sure, where? My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. Oh, please. It's safe. This is great. I'm fine. Don't touch me. No hugs. Personal space. Okay, I get it. No free clout. Let's go. Oh, Th this on. is great though, like we're in the subway and whatnot. Close this. Sorry, we're gonna have to go around. Well, I mean you're gonna have to figure something out, right? Hey, what do you know about that monster? Nothing. I've never seen anything like it. Keep walking, keep There's walking. No zombie. He knows what it wants and won't stop till it gets it. This is bad. Like that, man? No thanks. He's all yours. Of course you would, Carlos. <laughs> Listen, I promise you're in good hands. I'm with the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service. Oh, you did this. Yes, for sure. You did this! Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You guys are the ones who caused all of this. Damn right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you talking about? What do you mean what I'm not talking about? Trust me, but I'm going to the shelter. You coming? You can do whatever you want, bro. I mean, the umbrella was the reason for this. It's this way. All right, let's let, let me let me get inside the subway car because this is where the demo picked up, if I'm not mistaken. 
But this is very interesting because I don't think Carlos knows what the hell is going on, like really. Ah, oh, this is where things are going to be getting very interesting. Hey, Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. Is that so? Oh, look at him. He looks he looks like a true like a, like a freaking piece of crap. Carlos. You didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? Dude, this is not the time for names. She is an elite operative of RPD Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Wow. Her name is something Valentine. Oh, good, it's Jill. good guess. Stalker much? Nice to meet you, Jill. Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> I am UBCS, platoon leader Mikhail Viktor. Mikhail. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. What civilians? You look like you got bit and like just scratched all over the place. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off. Isolated. Well, no shit. Most of the hundred thousand civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. That's not good. <laughs> not good at all, dude. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Of course, I agree. Umbrella. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, okay. we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. Well, I mean, yeah. My men cannot do this alone. So bring some of the survivors to help. Wouldn't that make sense, right? Oh, this is a sticky situation. All right. I'm in. That a girl. But I am on their side. Not yours. Yeah, why do you have to be such an asshole? It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Jill. I don't trust them. I don't trust them. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. Well, of course. I know what a radio is. Yeah. Look at him. He has a he has a hard on for me. Okay, All right. First. We need to get you geared. Get above ground. All right. Cool. Is this supposed to be like a uh, alien and Terminator spinoff up here? This is amazing. All right. Ammo crafting guide. We already know how to craft ammo. Assault ammo on deck. Okay. This is interesting because can you imagine being in a situation to where first of all you're underground in a subway and you're trying to do what you can to salvage and save people like would you guys actually go out and save people or would you just say the hell with it Jill, it's me again. You top side yet? Working on what do you mean am i my top so side i just Your left oh this is bad and how do i do that let's start by restoring power i'll navigate you to the substation once you all right we have uh copy that let's do this fast we have equipment up here. Alright, so let me just grab all this. We have gunpowder. We're gonna put some gunpowder up here. Definitely grab some marijuana, <laughs> because that, that's exactly what this is in this game. Alright, so I'm gonna go on ahead and combine items. We're gonna combine these two. We're going to... No, d don't examine the weed. Combine that. Go on ahead and break that. Alright, cool. Red herbs. Alright, so can I... I wanna see if I can actually mix this. Oh, I can't mix that. Alright, cool. See, what's most interesting about this game is it's definitely more action-packed and it's definitely more intense, I would argue, than Resident Evil 2. Uh, the herb manual file, don't really need that. Definitely save our game. As you guys can see, we haven't really, uh, we haven't really played anything. So, let's go on ahead and go out there and see what's about to uh, unfold, ladies and gentlemen. And here we go. This is such a this is such a surreal experience to like. Gotta get that train moving. Ah, here we go. Damn. All right. Yeet. One to the head. Oh crap. Two to the head. Three. He's down. Down for the count. But like like look at the details though, guys. There's blood everywhere. Oh crap. There's a zombie feasting. Hey guys! Oh crap. Yeah, th I mean, th this guy would pop out from the woodwork. Oh damn, damn, damn. You always gotta make sure, first of all, to watch your six, watch your back, and to make sure that these zombies go down permanently. So let me just go on ahead and just give this dude one more round to the face. He's out. And just to be safe, let me go on ahead and give this dude one more round, and he's gone. This is some bad stuff. 
Now, I'm fairly certain we all remember what went down in the, uh, in the demo, so let's see what's about to go down, folks. Again, if you guys are new, hit that subscribe button, slap a like down below. Powers, I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? Damn. You'll have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. Nah, I'm not trying to, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to go there. Maybe. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. Of course he would. Fuck you. Of course he would. Alright, so just like in the demo, we're gonna have to try and put that place out. And here come the zombs. See, I, I, I was never really a fan of collective group attacks, so... But if you guys want to play a game, we can play a great game of seeing which one of y'all can survive the inevitable. Alright, let me go on ahead and pick this up. Uh, gunpowder. Alright, so... I really need to be on my toes right now because I don't want to get myself in a... Uh, basically put in a position to where I'm overran or I'm in a situation to where I can't survive. Oh, damn. 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 Oh, damn, 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 damn. Alright, he's down. She's down. Oh, crap. Can I dodge? Yeet! Inside we go. Perfect. All right, we have more handgun ammo here. What else do we have here? We have to be very careful. Damn. This is this is like a, this is such a tense atmosphere though. You guys can immediately tell like how tense everything is. If there's a zombie back here, I'm going to shit my pants. Let me see. I, I definitely need more ammo and stuff. What is this? Fancy box. All right, let's go ahead and put this in here. Grab some more marijuana. All right, examining items. I, I know exactly what I'm what, what I need to do right now. Create more weed. Let's go on ahead and examine this. Of course, it's a box. We've known in Resident Evil to open these boxes. It's a red jewel. Okay. Uh, I think I may need to put that away. I don't think I need the jewel to be honest. I, I mean, not now at least. Let's store that. Definitely save our game because we don't want to be put in a situation to where. You know, we don't have our game files stored. Let's go outside and see what's waiting for us. Damn. Okay, uh, wasn't really expecting for this to happen, but, uh, if you guys want to play, we can play a game. Oh, God. Five, four, three, two, yeet! Oh, this guy's still alive. Damn. I, uh, kind of timed my shot pretty badly there. That's right, down you go. Damn, you can actually hear the sound effects. Like, like this is bad. Like, the whole city's destroyed. Let me go on ahead and just pick that up right there. Oh, Jesus Christ, bro! Dude! Holy Jesus Christ! Oh, man, that, that really spooked me. That one really got me. Alright, let's... Let's just get the hell out of here, man. See, but what's most interesting about all of this is seeing what's taking place in the city. Because, can you imagine, like, whatever, like, whatever city you're living in, you're living in New York, oh crap, California, Atlanta, Texas, and then all of a sudden, like, you look on your local station, and, and, and you see all of this going down, right? You better stay your ass down, boy. What is this? Oh, yes, the hose. There we go. Fire hose intact. Let's see what we have in here. What is this? The subway manual. Okay, get the shotgun from when you're breaking point. Cut the chain. Okay, so there's a shotgun in here, but we need to cut the chain to do that. So, first of all, I need pliers. Let me see what's in this locker room. What would be the first thing you guys would do if you found out that there was a legit zombie apocalypse going on in the world? Like, what would you guys do? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Because I, I, I guess Zamasu wasn't fully wrong, right? We have a lot of bullets, though. We have a hell of a lot more bullets than how we did in Resident Evil 2. Can I unlock this? Oh, I need a key. Or a, uh, like, like, like one of those, like, lock picks or something like that. Alright, is there anything here? I feel like I need one more thing. I'm just trying to figure out as to what. I definitely need to get that shotgun, though. What the hell is that noise? You guys hear that? 
Oh, I was, I was about to say, is this guy really dead? I'm not even sure. All right, what is this? The subway company's offices. The railway manual. The stations I wish the train will stop, as well as the track segments will be used. Okay. So we basically can't do anything to power this because there's no power to begin with, right? So let's get back out. I mean, being the fact that now we have the, uh, the fire hose, I think we're okay. I think we're okay for the time being. Definitely want to explore the city a bit more, though. Man, this is... This guy dead. Yeet! Yeet! Oh, he's alive! See, how, how the hell did I know that? Alright, these zombies don't really care about me right now. They're, they're, they're too busy feasting. Uh, what is this? High-grade gunpowder. Okay, so let me see. Can I combine that with something? Damn, dude. Like, there's people... Look at this! Look at this car crash! This dude came flying out of his car, man. Alright, there's nothing more for me to get here. I'm gonna avoid these zombies. Because I don't want any smoke with them. This is insane. I mean, first of all, this is a hell of a lot more, uh... Explorative than, uh... Than Resident Evil 2, that's for sure. Oh, crap. Yeet! 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 Is he, is he down? I don't trust you. Yeet! Right in the chin. They really need to do, like, movies like this. They need to adapt a TV show for this because this is so good. Like, how could you, how could you not, you know? What's in here? Is that gunpowder? Um, can I combine that? Oh, we have shotgun shells. Oh, but we don't have a shotgun, though. That sucks. Okay. Damn. Alright, uh, I can't really combine much. I need to get rid of the shotgun shells, though, because, I mean, what's the point of me having shotgun shells when I don't have a shotgun, right? Alright, so if, if I remember correctly, if we go up here, there is a special ladder that you can activate and use to basically get to where you want to be. Ah, uh, that sucked. Can I, can I grab this? Um, I can't merge that with anything. That sucks. So I basically hear a zombie feasting. Right? Am I right? Oh crap, I was right. Oh my god. Yeet! Damn. Alright, gunpowder. Damn, I, I, I can't equip the gunpowder with anything. I guess that zombie was a victim too. Alright, so let's see. What is this? Anything here? Nope. Let's see if I can lower this. Alright. Alright. Now, the first thing I think I, I want to do is I want to go and... Oh, this sucks. All right, so I, this is what I think I want to do right now. I want to come over here. I want to juke these zombies. I want to shoot this asshole in the face. And I think the first thing that I need to do is save. Because, like I, like I told you guys before, I, I wouldn't do anything without saving first. That is, that is for sure. Alright, so that's saved. I hope you guys tune back in for the next video, because this is gonna be, this is gonna be insane. Based on everything that's happening so far, like, this entire game is just madness. It's madness from start to finish, honestly. Let's get the hell out of Dodge, man. All right, folks, let me just activate this, use the water hose, and put out the fire. Finally! All right, now, reactivate the power at the substation. This is going to suck. Oh, yes! Perfect. Bolt cutters. Oh, so that means we can actually use... The the shotgun. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, that's absolutely perfect. Because what I want to do right now is... I'm going to store these shotgun shells, just in case. Whoa. Is someone in here? What the hell was that? Oh boy. Alright. Is, is there something behind this door? We're about to find out. Alright, who's behind this door? Who the hell is this guy? 
Yeah, careful, careful. He's infected. Don't touch him. He's infected. Don't touch him. Come on, don't look at me like that. All right, I'm not an infected. Oh, you're oh, full no, of no, shit. Oh, what the? Oh, what the fuck? Dude. Dude. What the fuck? He was infected. He might have been infected. Oh, stars, this soft. I wonder so many of you dead. And what are you, UBCS, killing your own people? Who the hell is this guy? He would have turned. Where's your sense of self-preservation? Where is your self of self-awareness? You mother. Back to the subway station. We don't need a bleeding heart like you getting in the way. Oh, I would have shot him in the kneecaps just for that. You piece of trash. All right, let me grab these shotgun shells. He shot his own man. Damn, dude. He shot his own homeboy. Let me go in ahead and just put this away real quick. Let's store that. All right, so technically we have 14 shotgun shells, which we can use for a good cause. But why, why did he do that? Like, why did he shoot his own guy? Like, that was just kind of ridiculous if you ask me. Oh, crap, there's blood everywhere. I don't like the looks of this. Oh, the music's getting tense. Let me use this as a means. Thank God that I have this weapon. There's a lot of blood here, but it's like, what happened? If you get up, I swear to God, I'll, I'll pop you. The UBS, the UBCS suicide note. Damn, this guy killed himself, bro? See, this is what the Resident Evil movies should have been about, right? It, it shouldn't have been about, you know, stupid Paul W.S. Anderson putting his wife Mila Jovovich and everything. Oh, I, I, I don't like to, I don't like the looks of this. What the hell was that? Oh, oh my God! No, 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 no! Oh crap, dude! Holy crap! They have, they have the Cerberus dogs. Oh, this is bad. This is such a creepy atmosphere. Yeah, you guys hungry? Yeah? You want some of these cheeks? You ain't gonna be getting any. Look at the environment though, like everything just seems so bland and destroyed and just hopeless, you know? This is what Resident Evil is about. This is what Resident Evil is about, I swear to god it is. Alright, so, I guess I'm gonna have to make my way in the station, though. Alright. In the station we go. Knock, knock. Oh, crap. Hello, lady. Yeet! 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 Anybody else? Oh, crap, there's another dude. I have to make sure there's no more zombies around here. Oh, there's another woman! Yeet! Oh, I got her pretty good. Let me see if I can shoot him in the kneecaps. Oh, down the stairs he goes. This is... This is frightening. I know she's alive. Yeet! Oh, she's... Oh, Jesus Christ, that scared me. That literally made me jump so bad. Holy crap, that made me jump. Yo! I know for an absolute fact that probably made all of you guys jump too. Jesus, man. Give me a break out here. This game does not take a chill. And I love it. Alright, what do we have up here? Do I have any room for all this? Assault gun ammo, red herb. Uh, where am I going to put the herb though? Probably nowhere for now. All right, let's see. What's inside of here? Okay, perfect. Oh, dude, another... Oh, what is this? Yes, a hip pouch. Definitely needed that. This is what I love about this game already, is the fact that we have... We have save stations everywhere already. This is great. All right, so... Let me store this. Um, what else do I need to store here? I think I want to store my gunpowder for now. Because I have this feeling that I am going to basically need that gunpowder for later i don't even know where we are can i activate anything or do i have to go in there what the hell even is that let me see oh what the hell is that it smells like 
Oh, I don't even want to think about it. What is that? Ew, th this reminds me of like the uh the Ouroboros stuff that we saw back in like Resident Evil 5. All right, yes, we have two marijuana plant. Damn, they gave us a lot of stuff so early. This is great. Well, I mean, we're never going to die if this keeps up. And I think the scariest part is the fact that like you get to hear everything happen in the distance. It's pretty insane if you ask me. Like you hear gunshots in the background, you hear people crying and moaning and Oh, what is that? What is that? What is that? Let's see. Don't attack. Is he pregnant? Let me see. Let me grab this. Oh, what the hell was that? Ew. That's disgusting. That is disgusting. Ew, he has roaches and bugs all over him. That is so nasty. Let me let me see if I can open this real quick. Uh, examine. Okay, let's open this up. What the hell is that? Oh, a lockpick. Okay, nice. Okay, so I'm guessing that I need to... What is this? The substational terminal memo. Use the lockpick required. Okay, cool. All right, so we're gonna use the uh, the lock pick, and we're gonna open this up, and we're gonna see what's behind door number one. As a matter of fact, before I do that, I'm gonna definitely save my game because I think I'm going in here, and I have no idea what the hell that is, and I'm not trying to take any damn chances, man. But man, what an experience thus far! Like this is. This is like, this is insane. But either way, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, be sure to go on ahead and slap a big fat like down below if you guys are new. Hit that subscribe button, guys. Tune back in for part two of the Resident Evil 3 remake. And I'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below. Take it easy, guys. Peace.